Jared here on Devil's Night. And what better way to spend Devil's Night than going to Halloween Horror Nights again? I've been a lot this year, but this is the last time this year I'll be going. And I got my kids tonight. They haven't been yet. They're so excited. Are you ready? Totally. <laughs> okay, they've all been to Horror Nights before, just not this year. But let's get in there. You can hear that awesome Halloween music. I'm so excited. So one thing I want to try to do is actually get all 10 haunts in tonight. I've not done that yet this year. I mean, I've been to all 10, but not in the same night because every night I've been here, it's been packed. I have no idea what the crowd's going to be like tonight on this Tuesday because it was an added day. But I'm just going to jump into it and find out what's going on. I'm hoping this is a good sign. None of these weights seem bad at all. I'm thinking we're going to start the night off with trick or treat. Never has Dr. Seuss's Grinch looked so scary as he has on Halloween Horror Night. Well, so far the park is pretty light on people, so this is a positive sign for us. We might actually get all 10 haunts done. Trick or treat first. Pretty much walk in. Last time I went through trick or treat, the queue was backed all the way up, all the way through the ET queue. This is nothing. There's the fast pass lane. Man, if I had fast, if I paid for fast pass on a night like this, I'd be ticked. Yeah, absolutely. Walking right in. They're not even stopping us. Got a trick or treat right directly into Seeds of Extinction. Trick or treat was a 10 minute wait. This is advertised as a 15 minute wait. I'm curious what the difference is. We're about to just gonna round the corner. Remember, I cannot film inside, so I'm gonna shut the camera off. Just got out of Seeds of Extinction, and man, I love that one. I heard a few people say they didn't like it, but I like it a lot. It's one of the few haunts where I'm not sure where those little plant creatures are gonna be jumping out at you, so I enjoyed it. And by the way, the difference between a 10 minute wait and a 15 minute wait is a 10 minute wait, you just walk right in. A 15 minute wait, they stop you for five seconds to say, okay now. <laughs> What do you think, kid? Oh, you got great. You got scared in there, didn't you? Yeah, quite a bit. So did you. It was really good. Because both of them were saying they liked trick or treat, but they didn't really get any scares in that one. But this one, yeah, dude, those little plants, they come from everywhere. <laughs> Bumblebee man. Only one person getting Bumblebee man tacos? Yeah, let's see what's going on with the Springfield Chainsaw people tonight. There's usually quite a little choke point, too. That got me. Did it? Yeah. Oh, Katie got scared by a chainsaw. <laughs> they don't even have any chainsaw people back here. Yeah, it's a light night. That's what you gotta expect, I suppose. They're not gonna run everybody. Only a 15 minute wait for dead exposure. And only a 15 minute wait for Slaughtered Cinema. We're gonna knock them out back to back. Starting with Slaughtered Cinema. 15 minute wait. What is this dude? That's so That's somebody's sad. smart cart decorated up. <laughs> no, this is the first sort of line we're in, but it's. Exposure. So far, this is really the only line we've waited in. Slaughtered Cinema had a little bit of a wait. But this one is a lot longer than Slaughtered Cinema wait. If 
15 minutes when we got in line for dead exposure, but it ended up being more like 45. Yeah. And that's what it says it is now. I noticed tonight, more so than... I've, in fact, I've never seen them do this. They were like really breaking up the groups. Usually they just send a bunch of people in. Tonight they were doing, I think our group was like maybe 10. Yeah. And they stopped it for quite a while. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because it's a slower night and they're doing it or what. But dead exposure, pretty scary. That's still one of my, I don't want to say least favorite haunts because that makes it sound, that's kind of brutal sounding because it is a good haunt. But it's towards the bottom. Oh man, now it's an hour wait I'm looking at it. Good Lord. Ugh, glad we got that well, done. Really but it is the scary. It's the one that gets me the most. What do you guys think of that one, Dead Exposure? I thought it was good. It definitely scared me a couple times, but yeah. It was just good. <laughs> but we all like Slaughtered Cinema too. And that was a quick wait. Yeah. Now we're going to check out the wait for Blumhouse. And if it's anything over like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, we're going to skip that one. 40 minute wait for the purge or for Blumhouse. Nope. Not happening. We'll come back later just to get it in as a 10th haunt. But that one is like my least favorite haunt. And I think we're going to move to the front of the park and check out those haunts. Maybe go through the Killer Clown Scare Zone. Oh, uh, the kids are excited for killer clowns. They haven't been through it yet, so they're pretty excited. But it looks like... Oh, those guys don't even care. I don't know, is this a clown change? Or is this just uh, clowns are like, nah, we're not doing the scare zone tonight. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, this clowns were, we're not doing the scare zone tonight because they're all gone. See if they're back. No way for Transformers, so we're going to knock this ride out next. Can't film on it. You would want to see that. It's 3D. Yeah, I've been in here before when this entire thing has been full. I love just walking through it. I think it was just a shift change. Woo! Because now we got some clowns out here running around. Let's see what this guy's doing. This little alley, like weeks ago, I've been wanting to walk through it during horror nights. Just because of the lights here. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> I wish they had some more lights and fog back here. This is just a really good area for horror night scare zone. Oh, now what do we got? Oh man, this is more of this alley. Somebody's down there with a flashlight. That might be too dark to film. Let's just walk back here. This is creepy. That's hard to see. This would be an awesome setting. I just wish somebody would jump out at me from in the dark. <laughs> and back to the clowns. Vamp 85. So there's not very many people here today. All the other times I went here, it was crowded. So I might actually get some good shots of people in here. This is the other area that 
I thought was just highly congested. This one's really fun when it's not packed with people. 40 minute wait for Carnival Graveyard. Mostly the walk, man, it's a long walk back here. It's not the longest walk, but it's pretty long. That's not 40 minutes. I think the haunt's just on around that corner. More diary. Yeah, Carnival Graveyard was like maybe a 10 minute wait. There's the entrance right there. So, thank God they didn't have the sign updated correctly. Because I did not want to wait 40 minutes. We're gonna head into the Horror Night Tribute Store. I filmed a little bit of this before, but it was really crowded. There's not really anybody in here tonight, so I can get a better look around. I love these little Bucky Scarecrow skeletons they got. Come on here. Yeah, see, that's a lot emptier. This is a really awesome store. I wonder if this is open during the day. this at our own like three years ago four years ago something like that we wrote all this kind of stuff in blood on our walls stuff was that they had floating around in the haunt. Now I can see it. I was kind of going through there pretty quick. Before. Ooh. Oh, back here you can do some custom ink on your shirts. The size of shirt Katie wants. We'll have to go to a different store. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, man, this is awesome. This is, I had never been in here until this year. Ooh, all right. Moving on. We still got like four haunts to do, I think. Silly Demogorgons, they got me a lot this time. What the heck, man? That was pretty awesome, dude. Our group got really spaced out, so we got a lot of good scare resets in that one. What'd you think, kid? I thought it was amazing. You jumped a lot. Yeah, the Demogorgons got me good. Yeah, they got me good this time. The first time I went through there, I didn't get scared at all, but like I said, we got all the like reset scares. There was nobody really in front of us.
25 minutes. This is one number seven. Wait a minute, now I misspoke. This is eight. This is number eight, not seven. Halloween four. Yeah, Myers, he got those guys quite a bit. Got me a couple times. You know what, though? I went through that haunt at the beginning of the year, or the beginning of the season, and I thought it was pretty good. But this time, I thought it was really good. I must have missed all the detail and stuff the first time. It's, it was a lot better than I remember it being. But all right, we're moving on. I think we got about 40 minutes before the park closes. And then there were two. Poltergeist and Blumhouse left. 45 minute wait for Poltergeist. We might not make it through all 10. Man, that Vamp 85 scares on so freaking loud. I really hope they have the wait time incorrect on this and it's a lot less than 45 minutes. I've gotten lucky a couple of times tonight with that. But I, I really want to do this one and if I have to miss any, I'm cool with missing Blumhouse. I think we're going to be okay. It looks like less than a 45 minute wait, right? Hmm, not sure. Oh my god, I love Poltergeist. Man, that is just an all around great haunted house. It's got awesome theming, it had great scares, and it seems really long. Like, I don't know if these are all the same length or if some of them are longer, but that one seemed long. That was haunt number nine. We got one more. We got like 10 minutes. We're gonna rush back there and see if they'll let us in, but I have my doubts. I think we made it. We're in line for Blumhouse. We had to run back here and we got stopped by security. But I think hopefully they let us in. Here we go. We just made it through the purge. We are we're the last three people through. They just shut the music off. No waiting now. Which can't get in. <laughs> so I kept saying that was my least favorite haunt, and it still is, but I gotta give them credit tonight because we were the last group through, and all the actors tried. They did a good job, they kept up on it. And in fact, one of them got me the best I'd gotten all night, been gotten all night. So I'm happy with the last haunt being having the best scare of the evening. So yeah, man, shout out to the actors of Blumhouse, dude. You guys went all the way to the last group. That's awesome. Everyone's leaving the park. You can see a nice uh, foggy haze all over Springfield. Everything is shut off, except for this music playing right now. That's not shut off. And but we do get to walk through Twisted Tradition now that the lights are on. No fog, no actors, as Katie put it. But you can still see all the cool props. Well, kind of. You can kind of see the cool props. Oh, put the tarp back on the gory wagon. So nobody gets up scared tomorrow during the regular park hours. It was tough, man. Ten haunts in one night, even on a really slow night like this. We did all 10 haunts, all five scare zones. I think we even got like three rides, four rides, something like that. And it was tough. We had to go a little bit after 6.30 and got in and start doing stuff right away. And it was, it took us all that time, man. It's really hard to get it done. But.